My name is Ryan Hopkins, and I'm a senior film and television production major. Specifically in the film school, just learning and getting to know the people who I plan to collaborate with with my, the rest of my life and the rest of my career uh, as I move forward into my career as a filmmaker. I'm from St. Louis. Uh, anybody who talks to you will know that I always have to let you know that I'm from St. Louis. I think it has really helped shape and mold my character, um, but also it has helped shape my filmic lens and just my worldview in general. I think what it means to be a lion is to be, um, to live out these Jesuit principles and ideals that we have come to hold close to our hearts, specifically being men and women for others. Um, Going to a Jesuit high school, I found a home here at LMU, away from home, because it feels so similar and it feels so um, consistent in that we all are just trying to be more well-rounded individuals so that when we leave here, that we'll be able to affect the world and affect change in a way that feels personal and true to ourselves. Besides my schoolwork, I am a member of Brothers of Consciousness, which is a black male group on campus uh, focused on becoming role models through academic achievement and leadership. I'm a member of the Intercultural Facilitators, which is a group of students on campus who lead critical cultural conversations across campus. Uh, I'm a member of Laser Squad Bravo, one of the improv teams here at LMU. Uh, I work in the production sound department of the film school, and I've also been a, a resident advisor for the learning community, uh, which is a program for incoming freshman students. I got involved in BOC because the people who I was friends with my freshman year, they were all talking about it and they kept talking about it, so then eventually I would just come to meetings. Um, and those people are some of my closest friends now who still go here or who are recent alumni. Um, they really helped foster uh, a more home experience for me because we all had this shared um, connection with one another. Being a part of BOC, um, it's been really impactful for me. I, last year, my junior year, I served as the head of marketing for the club. So I ran all of our social media campaigns and I created flyers and promoted our events. It was just really cool to see a bunch of like-minded individuals trying to affect change on campus and people who you knew would hold you accountable if you weren't, uh, if you were slacking off or, it, or that people who would check in on you if they felt that you needed to be checked up on. It just felt like they created and fostered a space that felt like family and it felt like you always had somebody around campus who had your back. And that, that's been really impactful for me. I would tell my freshman year self to just take a step back and breathe because everything will figure itself out. Um, as long as you carry yourself the way that you're supposed to, you work hard, things will work out and to not be afraid of failing because the reason that we're here is to fail. The reason that you learn is through failure. So don't, don't take it too harshly if something you make isn't as good as you thought it would be or if you didn't get as good of a grade on something that you thought you would. It's all part of the process and you just have to trust and take a deep breath and believe that things will work out. I remember my very first film class, uh, it was Proud 101 is what they called it, or it was Proud 198 was what it was called when I took it. And I put in, I'd been working all night to prepare for my shoot. I was doing auditions and casting calls and I was making detailed uh, notes on my script and I was making all these schematics and all these things to try to prepare me for walking in to direct for really the first time that I really directed anything. And then I get into class and I was struggling to direct and the final product was horrible. And I got so upset and so sad because I knew that I put in all this work. Then I had a conversation with my professor who was pointing out certain things that he saw me do or certain things he didn't see me do that would help me develop as I pursued directing further. And I still take those moments and those things I learned and how badly I failed in that moment as helping develop 
um, my directing style and directing my voice on the set. Because now as I'm preparing to shoot and film my last project here at LMU, I can see that tangible growth of being this scared freshman who didn't really know what he was doing into a slightly less scared senior who knows a little bit more about what they're doing and is just trying to make something that feels real and true to himself. You know, what I have planned for life after college, I'm currently looking for a job. I have a couple feature films that I'm planning on writing and developing, um, one of which is specifically an expansion upon the last two projects. Well, the last project I shot at LMU and the current one I'm working on. Um, those kind of ideas coming into their own as a feature length film. So working on those two and just trying to figure things out from there. But um, I'm looking forward to life after college. I'm looking forward to this uneasy feeling that I'm feeling right now and just trying to trust that everything will work out in the end.